Hello, so I'm Madonna Brown. I'm a licensed clinical mental health counselor, and my husband, Hank Brown, has had Lewy body dementia for approximately 10 years. And I wanted to make a, a video about the frustrations of caregiving today because um, earlier today, uh, me and Hank had an argument, and I'm trying to learn as I go about you know what's going on, because I always try to do things. I wanna try to learn what I can to help other people. And um, we had an argument, and I'm always thinking about what could I have done differently? Uh, and usually I place the blame and the burden on me. That's just what I do. Uh, so he was, it was back to washing clothes and drying clothes. We've had these issues before sometimes. Uh, and uh, I said, well, you know, can you go downstairs and get the clothes out of the washer and put them in the dryer? And that was all fine, and he's done that many times. But remember, he's got Louie body dementia, so that changes things up. Uh, and he comes upstairs, and we're packing for a trip. So I go to the closet to pull out his shirt, and one of them is wet. Never been dried. It's wet. So I just pull the shirt out. I don't think anything about it. It's just a normal day, and I'm rushing to get things done. And I use the why word, and I don't think that's ever a good philosophy to say why. I just feel like that is just really judgy when you say, you know, why are you drinking that kind of water? To me, that's just judgy, the word why. So I try not to use the word why did you do that. And I, I pulled out that shirt, and I said, why'd you put your shirt in the closet? And he just looks at me like, what are you talking about? That's where my shirts go. I could just tell by the look on his face. And I said, why did you put this shirt in the closet? And I extended it out like to, for him to touch it. He said, what do you mean? And I said, well, this shirt is wet. And you went downstairs to put the clothes in the dryer. And this shirt is really wet. So I'm asking you and I'm trying to explain myself. And remember, he's got dementia. And I'm asking him. I just want to know because I want to know what happened to all the clothes. I'm thinking, do I need to get downstairs? Is he washing them again? Even though it wouldn't have mattered because if he's washing the clothes again, they're not going to break just because they get washed again. And I couldn't stop the washer at that time anyway, if that had been the case. And if they're in the dryer, that's where they're supposed to be. But I thought, I better find out what happened to the clothes because he may have threw the rest of them away. I don't know. And I said, I just want to know what happened to the rest of the clothes. I don't know what happened to the rest of the clothes. And I said, well, this one's wet. Oh, you just got to point out what I did wrong. Well, I have dementia. And he's just mad about it. And I get it. And that was my fault. I did not need to be asking him why. And the whole time, if I was wondering what was going on with the clothes, I should have just went downstairs and checked on the clothes. I'm just telling you guys these things because I'm hoping that you can learn from my mistakes. Hank didn't have a clue what was going on. You know, I look back thinking, well, with the shirt being wet, maybe now that, you know, if that's something that's upsetting, I just don't even say anything. I just pull the wet shirt out, go downstairs, and see what happened to the rest of the clothes. The rest of the clothes was in the dryer. Everything was fine. I don't know why this one shirt was pulled out. And the other thing I have an issue for me is I want to know what happened and I want to know why it happened and I want to be able to change it to be different next time. Because I don't want him to have dementia. And I want to be able to fix him, I think. And that just don't work that way. I want to be able to say, well, if I'll just do these things, then he won't have dementia anymore. He won't have these side effects anymore. He won't have these things going on in his life. Not side effects, but symptoms. And that's just not true. I can think what I th want to think all day long, but that doesn't change the fact that he has what he has. It doesn't change the fact if he doesn't wear his, uh, his River Stigman patch that he's just going to be just sitting there almost like a vegetable. I mean, he just cannot do anything at that point because I've spent... Uh, he's went two or three days without one. He's went uh, three days one time, I think it was. And he was just off in another world, I mean. So, you know, I don't know what the answer is, but I just want you to know that just triggered, and I don't know next time that I can do any better. 
I don't know next time that he can do any better. Some days he can control things better. Uh, it was already a stressful morning because I was already, I'm Madonna. I'm just wound up and I'm awake and, you know, tomorrow we're leaving on a trip. So this morning I'm just blah, 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 blah. I'll just talk, 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 talk. And got a hundred things in my head and a hundred things I'm sharing. And then we're trying to buy the house we live in. See, I'm even talking fast now and it's done 813 of the night eastern standard time and i'm still wound up you know it's gonna be bedtime before long i have lots of thoughts going on lots of ideas going on and we're doing a lot of stuff and i'm happy we're doing them and i'm happy we're going on this trip but i'm just saying i don't know if it's always one-sided that i need to do this better he needs to do this better i really just don't feel like i can place the burden on him because he does have dementia some people would probably say well that's just an excuse and I think, well, those people can say it's just an excuse. If that's what they want to say, that's not the route I choose to go. I just choose not to blame him for those things. And one reason is because I've been married to Hank almost 26 years, and Hank was never like this before. It's not like this is, was his typical personality. He didn't get mad at me. He didn't judge me. He didn't jump on me. We just would carry on a conversation. If that had happened, I'd have said, why does, why is your shirt in the closet wet? Well, I don't know. Why Why is it? And I'd say, did you dry the clothes? Well, I thought I did. I mean, I, I know he would just, a lot of things I think he would do, dementia or not. And I try to think about that. But he would never be on to me. He's never been nothing but kind to me. He's never called me a name he's never cussed me he didn't run around starting arguments if somebody was starting an argument it was going to be me if anybody was causing any discord it would be me it's not going to be hank because hank just don't do those things he never did so i tell myself all the time i can make it through it he has put up with me all these years it's my turn now to return the favor and put up with him so i just wanted to share that with you uh, we're going on this trip. I'll try to make videos. Uh, we're taking our 16-year-old uh, grandson, Colton, with us. So I thought maybe we might get some videos in the vehicle right, while riding because that'll be a stressful time for all of us. Uh, I enjoy driving. It'll be great for me as long as I feel well. I'm good with driving. Uh, we're going to Fort Lauderdale, and that's I think it's about 16 hours for us, something like it. And then we're going to Tampa to move our youngest daughter to North Carolina which is where we live for almost 14 years. And I've got clients in North Carolina, so I may see a few of them and some friends. And so I think we're going to be gone about 10 days. And I figured it up, we're going to be driving about 3,000 miles. So, but, but I like I say, I like to drive. And Colton is 16. He could drive if he wants to, maybe. I'm going to let him drive some to get some experience. But So, yeah, I just choose to carry this. And I don't know, talking to YouTubers, I mean, talking to you guys just make everything better for us. I, I can't tell you that enough. It just makes it so much better for me to know I've got you guys that'll share this with me. And, and you listen and you tell me stuff. And I just really like it. And I really appreciate you listening to me. So if you need anything, you let me know. I'll do what I can to help you. Uh, and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the little bell. And then you'll get notifications. Okay? All right. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.